Well, howdy, peeps. I gotta go out here and get the goats, bring them in. So I gotta say hi while I was out doing that. I did a little bit of yard work. And uh, I just don't do well with the heat anymore. So I didn't get a hold of the yard work done. But I had a revelation while I was thinking about the yard work and the fact that the weeds are just growing faster than I can cut them down. Yeah, you really can't, in my opinion, you really can't cuss and condemn the weeds without also condemning the fact that you have moisture. I don't want to condemn that. I love the fact that we are not in a arid climate or under a 20 year drought and you can't even burn a brush and a little bit of brush in the backyard without worrying about burning down the entire neighborhood. So, they're a little bit frustrating to deal with, but we got weeds and we got moisture and that's a good thing. But anyway, I got out here, got to get the goats. The goats seem to be happy. We got one sitting over there. That's a young one. That's rain. I don't know if I'm actually pointing the camera at her, but where is the camera? Hmm, it's over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that was the rain. She just, she in her cud, sitting down. Oh, she got up. She saw me. Uh, she looks tangled up. Yep, she's tangled up. And then we got Dolly over there. She's munching on something. But yeah, what we want to do, what we have is a plan to take the perimeter on three sides. That's my idea anyway. Perimeter on three sides and put in about a six foot wide moat area. Give them a big, long, skinny pasture so that they have the fence line and about six feet of grass all the way around on three sides of the property. Got the idea, I got the idea from um, Living Traditions Homestead. Um, at one time they had like a six foot, what they called a moat around their property, around the area of the property to keep helps deter deer from jumping the fence and so um, you know, it helps deer helps to prevent deer from jumping the fence but that was a clever idea I want to incorporate it into our place ah hang on All right, so I was over there by the barn. I heard a hell of a commotion. And uh, I said, hmm, yeah, I got some kindling that fell out of the tree. That tree. Ah, uh, there was a limb. That limb laying there was right up here, and I just barely touched it. All of that is super dry brittle and ready to come down this limb right here i'm not sure where it come out of but it's way up in there somewhere no wind nothing just gravity maybe an animal of some kind all right i basically got most of it cleaned up and into a kindling bucket. So much piled up there on top of the chicken. But I got most of it cleaned up now. Yeah. We gotta get that tree down. All three of them. And of course we got one over here that's a matter of time. It's gonna die too. And that one's leaning for the house. And these, well, one's more or less straight up and down. The other two are leaning out. So, eh, we just got the fence to worry about over there. So, Got to wait till my little settlement com comes in and I can get that little money and I can fix it. Yeah. Peace, guys.